All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So, we're live. Yeah. So, guys, we had that X Class Solar Flare Chrono Mass Ejection hit the earth. Now, when I did my live stream video on that, I did say from what I was looking at, it looked like it was going to be a glancing blow. Um, we had a lot of people up here. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. This is a direct hit. This is the end of the world. I'm not a space weather scientist, but I do take chronomass ejections and stuff very seriously, which is one of our top preps, as should you. But like I was saying, the thing I believe what was going to happen, and it is in the live stream, would be radio disruption and internet issues. So, thankfully nothing major happened, like I projected it wouldn't. So, awesome news. Now, moving forward, this can still happen. All right. A complete grid down situation from a corona mass ejection can happen. It's happened in the past and it will happen again. It's just a matter of time, of when, not if. So this is why we always talk about getting your stuff ready for grid down. Fuel on hand, propane, uh, food put back, water put back, water stored, water purification, alternative power, whatever it is that you think that you need, you need to be working on that because we need to. So that's what we've been talking about on this channel for nearly three years when we started this channel. It is a big threat, and I believe that we should be prepared for it. As long as you are prepared for it, you're taking care of your family. So, moving forward, I uh, just got back from my trip out in the woods, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, and today's Monday, so I am back. Uh, got a lot done. I was out there doing a camping trip because I was actually clearing out some property and stuff getting everything ready for our survival courses for our basic survival training course so that's what I was doing out there got a lot done much a lot of stuff was accomplished I'm very happy for everything that I was able to get done uh, looks like we are still set for about the third week of January is gonna be our first course now down here in Florida is it cold <laughs> yeah it's cold uh, right now it's not bad but this morning I woke up it was 47 degrees the humidity was ridiculously high, which made it feel like it was even colder. So, make sure you dress appropriately for the winter time down here. I am in the panhandle of Florida, so it does get cold. We've even had snow down here before. So, yeah, it gets cold down here, guys. But I'm going to go back out either this month, next month. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out my schedule and everything else. i got to go back out and finish my land nav course. Uh, we were laying out a land nav course for the basic. Got a lot done. Got a lot of mapping done and everything, but I need to remap some other ideas so I can give a more in-depth course on the basic navigation. Something that you should know how to use. You need to be able to read a map. You need to be able to use your compass correctly. So that is going to be in the basic course as well. Awesome news. We got some amazing photos and videos. Well, I say we me <laughs> when i bring the camera i'm talking to the camera then it, then it becomes we um so i'm filming by myself out there got some great photos and stuff like that for our website that we're redesigning so the old website cfpguide.com we are going to be taken down i might leave it up to the end of the month i'm not quite sure yet uh at the end of the month though we'll be releasing the new website the link will be uh, survivallivingguide.com that is going to be our new website and that's the one we're going to be promoting so it's all part of our business for our survival courses and stuff like that so guys for those that are interested in that awesome uh, our email is survivallivingguide at gmail.com should be popping up there I had to go off the top of my head that's going to be our email for the business right now I'm working on getting a secondary phone just for the business so yeah does it cost money to start a business yeah it does it does we got our llc we got our liability insurance um we're getting our other things that i want to get picked up for the course so yeah all in all everything's falling in place is it a lot of work it is i'm always working on something if i'm not working here on the youtube channel i'm working on websites i'm working on social medias i'm working on my other jobs so i'm always busy but Believe me, I try to answer all the comments and stuff, try to answer all the emails. Uh, for those that try to call me by phone, most of the time you won't reach me by phone because I'm usually editing 
and I don't want to be disturbed when I'm trying to do that so I get to you when I can on those but when we get the business line hooked up that'll be open all right guys be safe out there keep putting back preps I see it all the time oh there's no food shortages there is we've shown them <laughs> we got a lot of I mean gas is it's jumped a dollar 42 cents since the new administration it's gonna continue to go up propane you know they say there's not gonna be a propane shortage at least that's what they try to push just like there's no food shortage uh, they're trying to push that there's no propane shortage funny they're talking about the price of propane will go up though but there's still gonna be propane to go around if you price the propane too high where everybody can't purchase it that's a shortage now because now they can't get it um, also they said if there is a shortage it's because of people hoarding propane only purchase what you need I'm telling you guys right now do not do that if you need to stock up you freaking stock up you make sure you have plenty all right you don't want to sit there and just that whole mentality that you're going to be able to go to the store you're not going to be able to just go to the store when the stuff shuts down stuff goes crazy no you better have your supplies on hand that's what you need to do have your supplies on hand don't sit there and listen to all this other stuff i mean look at the the normal what they say normal american the, the is that the correct word i should call it i don't think so but most americans have up to three days worth of food in the house three days that's it so if the grocery store shut down all over the place and you have no access to actually go buy food what are you going to do curious please put in the comment there what are you going to do i don't want to hear the comment i'm going to go hunting uh just depends on where you at really game is not as what it, as abundant as it used to be and also where you at don't you think everyone else is going to be hunting too so yeah something to think about all right guys catch you later